Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to properly replace and install a brand new thermostat on any 1.9 TDI engine. So today I'm working on this Audi A4 B6 and the thermostat on this car is not working properly because it doesn't matter how hard I drive the car or how much I drive it, the temperature is not reaching 19 degrees, the engine temperature is not reaching 19 degrees, it's only reaching 17 or 18 degrees, sometimes it's reaching 19 degrees but sometimes it's not reaching it so the thermostat on this car is not working how it should work and because of that I decided to show you all how to replace it in today's episode. Right here I have the brand new thermostat made by Mahle, it's not a very expensive item, it's only cost about 15 euros and it's a very easy job to do at home and with normal tools. So one thing I recommend all to do before trying to replace the thermostat is to check the coolant in your vehicle. In my case the coolant reservoir is mounted right here. You have to check the coolant, you have to check the freezing point. In my case I checked it with a special tool which is showing me that this coolant is freezing at only minus 35 degrees. Also you have to check it to be at the maximum level because if you don't have enough coolant in your system the car will not work properly and it will not cool the engine properly. Also, one thing which I recommend all to do is to replace the coolant every two or three years. Because if you don't replace the coolant, it will lose some of the properties and it will not work properly and it will not cool the engine properly. With all of these things being said, this is the special plastic part which you'll have to remove if you want to replace the thermostat on this car. Normally, I will try to remove this um, uh, rubber part, this hose which is mounted over this flange, over this plastic part. I try to remove it because in, the, in some cases it's a little bit easier to work with this hose removed from the thermostat. But in my case, for example, you will see later that um, this hose is not coming out at all. I tried to pull it so hard and it's not coming out. So because of that, I decided to let it like this on the engine and only remove the two screws which are securing the pipe mounted over the thermostat to the engine. The first thing which you have to do if you want to remove this hose from the thermostat housing is to pull up this metal clip. You have to pull it up or remove it completely. And after that, you have to pull down the hose from the plastic part, from this uh, plastic housing. In my case, as you can see, the hose itself is not coming out at all. It doesn't matter how hard I try to pull it, it's not coming out from this plastic flange. And because of that, I decided to not remove it at all because in some cases, the plastic part can break and you don't want to break it because it's in a good condition. I recommend all if it's not coming out, like in my case, it's not. I recommend all to not bother to remove it at all because there is no necessarily to do it. You can just let the hose attached to the thermostat housing. And after that, you can go ahead and remove the two screws which are securing the thermostat housing mounted to the engine. To reach the thermostat on this car, you have to remove first this plastic housing. This is the thermostat housing which is mounted over it. And you have to remove the two screws with a 10 mm socket which are securing it mounted to the engine. After that, you have to pull it out and right underneath it will be the thermostat. And the thermostat will also have one o-ring or one rubber gasket which is mounted over it. And make sure to not lose it. I recommend all to replace also the gasket and also the thermostat with a brand new one. Because in this way, you will know for sure that the job will, done, will be done properly and you will have no problems in the future with any of those parts. I recommend all to put something underneath the engine because after you will remove the thermostat from the engine all the coolant which is inside it will come out and you don't want to make it fall on the ground.
Another thing which I recommend all to do after you remove the old thermostat from the engine is to clean the area where the new thermostat will fit because in this way you'll know for sure that the new thermostat will fit properly and you have no problems with um, leaks or something like that in the future. After you finish cleaning the area where the new thermostat will fit over the engine, you'll have to take the new thermostat, you'll have to put it back over the engine, and you'll have to install it in the exact same way as I'm installing it right here in this video. After that, you'll have to put the o-ring back over the new thermostat, and you'll have to put the plastic housing, the thermostat housing back, and you'll have to tighten it to 10 Nm. Alright everybody, so as you can see, the new thermostat is installed back on the vehicle, I installed the thermostat housing and all the screws, and now the only thing which I have to do is to add coolant into the system. I'm going to put brand new coolant into the engine, and after that I'm going to check with a special tool, I'm going to put pressurized air into the system and check for any leaks. I recommend all to also buy a tool like this one. This tool will help you to put a lot of pressure into the system, and it will push all the coolant back where it belongs, and after that it will also show you if you have any leaks from um, the part you are working on or something like that.
right here. I hope it works exactly. This tool is showing me that the system is holding pressure because the needle from the tool is not going down. This is meaning that the system is closed and I have no leaks anywhere on this engine. Also, after you put a lot of pressure, I recommend all to go and check everything. You have to check the radiators, you have to check the thermostat and all the parts which you have on this car. You have to check for any leaks and if you don't have any leaks on this engine, this is meaning that the job is done properly and you can go ahead and start the car and then see if the thermostat is working or not. All right, everybody, I just finished the test drive with this car. I drove it for about 20 minutes and everything is working how it's supposed to be working. The thermostat is working at 90 degrees. Also, the coolant is at the maximum level and it's looking very good and clear. If your coolant, for example, is at the minimum level, you have to add more coolant to make it at the maximum level. Right here on the dashboard, as you can see, everything is working how it's supposed to be working. This is all you have to do. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and found it informative, please leave a like and a comment down below. See you next time.